Hey, it's Sovereign Student here, and today I'm going to introduce you to Unit Test, where I will be using JUnit with IntelliJ. So, first of all, what is a Unit Test? A Unit Test is a whiteboard test, white box test, which means we are able to see what's going on throughout the test, which means we're able to have control over what the input is, what's going on during the test, and we'll be able to check the output. So, how we would do this with IntelliJ? is I would first have my, in this case, I just created a static method, which I will be testing if it works later on. It's just a very simple method, which takes in two numbers and add them together and returns the result. But first, inside my, my source folder, I would create a new package, which I'm gonna call test. And I'm gonna go inside file, project structure, modules, and I'm gonna make my test package and actually test package recognized by IntelliJ, which will allow me to automatically create my tests by simply right clicking the class I want to test, show context actions, create test. I will be using JUnit4. I am calling it addition test because often we just add test at the end of our class name when we're testing. And I will make a add test. So now it will automatically be created inside my newly created test folder. But as you might see, we have a problem because JUnit is not recognized by the basic package of Java. So we would need to add it manually. And how I'm going to do it, I am going to be using Maven, which allow us to right click on our JUnit test which is like a basic program, add framework support. We would go down and find Maven. Click OK. We are then told we need to input some kind of group ID. And the group ID is the structure of our packages. So in this case, in my case, it would be main dot java dot com dot java code and I will reload a Maven project and as you can see it should be all good we don't get any more errors and again I just input my package directory going from source main java all the way then, for some reason, it moved my test. So I am just going to clean it up a bit because it got confused when we import Maven. So I'm just going to take my addition test and put it back in my test folder. And I am going to delete this extra one they created. It's created quite a few extra ones. There we go. Because we didn't actually input the group ID probably, but it should work fine. So now inside my test again, we still have a problem, but now we are able to right click our JUnit, show context action and add Maven dependency. We will then be survey searching for JUnit. And I will just find a JUnit 4 version. I'm just going to be using this one, the JUnit, JUnit Deep 4. I'm going to add it. And as you can see, now it's all working. So I have my public void add test class. So here I am able to create my methods and test them. So what, it, what I wanted to test was my simply my addition class. So I will just and I made it static, so I was just to call addition dot add, and then add two numbers. Let's just go three and two, which should be five. So I am gonna save my int. Let's call it result. And I'm just simply gonna check by doing an assert equals, where I would first have the correct solution. So I would do int, let's do correct. 
which in this case would be 5. We would simply input that 5 is our correct solution. And our result is the one we want to check if it's also 5. And we would now run our test. And as you can see down here, we are running an addition test because of the class. And we're running the specific test add, and in this case, it passed. So we test pa test passed, I'm on one of one. So that's pretty much the basics of running a test. We have our test going. It might be a bit confusing. As you can see, I kind of still made a mistake with Maven getting it set up correctly. But when you have it set up, it's pretty easy to just run our JUnit tests. So if you enjoyed this introduction, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.